Welcome to today's webcast on cloud computing. This webcast is being presented as an accessible task for Swinburne University's Unit INF 3009 Professional Reading and Writing in Information System Strategy. My name is Ian O'Leary, student number 7268556, and during this webcast, we will answer the research question How can cloud computing help firms to achieve a strategic competitive advantage. However, before we look to answer this question, I would like to first clearly define the term cloud computing. In his book published in 2013 entitled Cloud Computing, Yamza defined cloud computing as the abstraction of web-based computers, resources and services that system developers can utilise to implement complex web-based systems. In other words, cloud computing is the utilisation of network-enabled devices that developers use when solving a problem or delivering a service. As depicted in this image from Global Digital Vision, users are able to connect to the cloud through their network-enabled devices. These devices gain access to the cloud via a router or switch, sending information packets through the network to the designated server. Whilst the cloud is a relatively new buzz term, the concept of distributed computing has been used for decades. In his 2014 book, Cloud Networking, Lee explains the history of networked computing and shows how this has evolved throughout recent history starting with thumb terminals connected to large mainframes in the 60s, through to distributed desktop computing in the 80s, and more recently, the mobile devices connected to the large cloud data centers of today. As you can see, network computers have continually evolved with changes largely driven by the development of the new technologies and capabilities. Of these new technologies have merged, organizations have adapted and changed in order to gain an advantage over their competitors. The driver of the latest evolution in networked computing is undoubtedly the emergence of mobile computing technologies. With the emergence of these new mobile devices, companies have seen the volume of data that needs processing explode. In 2012, MongoDB.com published content to their website discussing how traditional businesses are looking to new emerging technologies to handle the integration of traditional relational databases with new data types like images, videos or sound files. Part of the data presented on MongoDB.com is this graphic showing the experienced and anticipated increase in the volume of worldwide data traffic. This explosion of data has impacted businesses worldwide as their traditional processing and data warehousing techniques are continually stretched. One possible answer to solving this stretch on resources is to move the storage and processing of the data to the cloud. To explore this idea further, we will now look at a case study of an Australian financial service provider and see how they are attempting to solve this problem. Information obtained from Suncorp Group website shows that the Suncorp is listed as one of the top 20 companies on the Australian Stock Exchange. It is also actively pursuing a move of the, their IT infrastructure away from traditional mainframes and data warehouses and looking to replace these with cloud resources. In preparation for this move to the cloud, Suncorp has spent the past few years focusing on system consolidation and simplification. In 2012, Global Banking News reported that Suncorp were predicting to save in excess of $225 million from the consolidation and simplification activities alone. However, the benefits of the work being undertaken goes beyond pure savings. In a paper produced by former Suncorp executive Jeff Smith, Mr Smith provided some insights into the com company's philosophies by stating that Suncorp's ability to be competitive was due to their agility. This was later confirmed by current Suncorp executive Mark Renke, where in a 2015 interview with Mr Bender, he highlighted the importance of developing an agile business process and building a culture of making decisions fast. In his 2013 book on cloud computing, Yamza highlights one of the benefits of cloud computing as the ability to achieve business agility. Yamza goes on to highlight that cloud resources are often viewed as a virtual resource, and therefore, through their virtual nature, are able to be scaled up or down in order to meet the changes in demand. However, in his article in 2009, Jeff Smith also points out the importance of agility of process and discusses the importance of the Agile development methodology and how it has been used by, by Suncorp as an integral part in, de in delivering success to the group. A 2015 report from Ivy's World values the general insurance industry as receiving over $59 billion and generating almost $8 billion in profit for the 2015 2014-2015 financial year, with Suncorp having a 16.9% of the market, making them the second largest insurer in the Australian market. Ivy's World also report the, their analysis of the Australian banking industry in 2015. 
In this report, they value the banking industry at over $167 billion and estimated it generated $43.6 billion in profit for the 2014-2015 financial year. Given the size of Suncorp, it is not an insignificant change to move their infrastructure from a traditional mainframe platform into a cloud environment. In conclusion, it is clear from our discussion and the analysis presented that cloud computing has the ability to assist firms achieve strategic competitive advantage. It's the scalable nature of cloud computing that will underpin the future business intelligence functions, and this is where the ultimate competitive advantage will be achieved. It must be noted that cloud computing alone is not enough. The presentation shows that Suncorp have also implemented structural changes and utilised the agile development methodology in order to prepare themselves for the move to the cloud. Therefore, it is recommended that other organisations seeking to move resources to the cloud do not view this move as the silver bullet that will transform their business and deliver them competitive advantage overnight. True competitive advantage can only be achieved by the alignment of the technical platform with the overall operating model and the business objectives. That concludes this webcast on cloud computing. Hopefully you have found it interesting and informative. Thank you.